And our third school here is Pinewood. So a brief introduction about Pinewood. One kind of key characteristic about Pinewood that we'll get into in uh, the next slides is that uh, they do have STEM programs and clubs available for all three levels, upper, middle, and uh, lower school. But uh, English writing and arts is definitely a specialty at Pinewood. Uh, their address is located in Los Altos slash Los, Los Altos Hills. They have a campus for each level. Um, for lower and middle school, it's in Los Altos. And then for upper school, it is located in Los Altos Hills. Their teacher to student ratio is one to seven. And for AP scores, 83% uh, uh, of the students received a three or higher on their AP test. And then the average score was 3.62. And then the main grade entrance was kindergarten, grade six, and grade nine. Uh, for their tuition breakdown for grades K through six, it is 35,785. For grades seven and eight, it is 45,470. And then grades nine through 12, it is 47,285. And then lastly, some admission rates for UC Berkeley and UCLA in 2019 to 2020. There was actually a pretty significant increase for UC Berkeley from 2019 and 2020, which is impressive. It went from 20% to 27.27%. And then for UCLA, it went up again as well by about 5% from 13.6 to 18 and a half. Now, uh, for Pinewood's uh, key characteristics, uh, one thing that we do notice is that they do dedicate a lot of their resources towards their arts programs. They have multiple theater and performing arts extracurriculars on top of the standard uh, arts classes. Uh, they do offer creative writing, and then they also offer a uh, yearbook and so forth. And then another key characteristic that we noticed is that there is a specialized teacher for every class, and that starts from as early as kindergarten. And then there's also on top of that learning specialists that are at the school, they assist the students uh, who are struggling. And then they also provide kind of backup support to teachers. They can kind of see if a kid, if a, a specific student is struggling on a topic and they can definitely brief the teacher, let them know, hey, the student seems to uh, not be catching up with the other students in this topic. Let's spend more time on it with them so that their education path can get uh, smoothed out. So these learning specialists are definitely good for helping not just the students, but the teachers as well. Um, they do have summer camp programs for grades K through eight that focus on sports, arts, and technology whichever your child is interested in most. Um, and then one feedback that we did see from parents is that there is some focus on SEL that is in their curriculum, but it is not as in-depth as Nueva or Synapse, which we'll cover in a few minutes. So if you are a parent that has uh, SEL, social emotional learning, as their uh, number one or one of the top three aspects when considering a school, this is just something to keep in mind. But now, uh, we are going to get into uh, some notable extracurriculars that Pinewood offers. And their number one top one is definitely their school newspaper, which is called the Perennial. Uh, it's awarded first place status in the American Scholastic Press Association uh, contest slash review. And then uh, one key factor about this that uh, is definitely uh, positive, I would say, is that reporters are responsible for researching, interviewing, and writing the final copy of stories assigned to them, uh, which is definitely great if you're your child is interested in writing, interested in journalism, becoming a journalist. Uh, this is very key because a lot of other schools, they will sort of, uh, that the teacher of the class will sort of hold their hand throughout the whole time and they don't end up learning uh, the fundamentals of journalism. So the fact that at Pinewood, the people who, the students who are writing these stories, they are responsible for all aspects of journalism, researching, interviewing, and writing the whole story uh, that will definitely prepare them for the future and in college because they definitely do that uh, in college. So this is definitely a very good uh, program for people who are interested in journalism uh, and the awards definitely say so as well. Um, and then they also have an annual literary arts magazine called Tabula Rasa. It's won awards as well. So they definitely have two kind of aspects for writing, which is their newspaper and their their annual magazine. Now for STEM, they offer a couple STEM uh, programs as well. For grades uh, K through two, they have uh, STEM basics with Legos, where it's a weekly class to help them introduce the concepts of STEM uh, through play. And then for grades three and four, they have their maker club, which is uh, where students learn STEM concepts in their Imaginarium uh, maker lab. And they do, they, the students who are in this club are able to take 
participate in two competitions uh, every year, the Cardboard Challenge Club in October and then the Tech Challenge in April. Uh, one factor about this is that uh, it is limited to the first 20 students. So if your child is interested in this club, make sure to get in early. However, 20 students is actually a lot more in, uh, for Pinewood in comparison to other schools we're talking about because Pinewood does have the lowest amount of total students, um, but definitely get in early. And then lastly, they have their uh, technology club, which is for grades seven through 12. And this is where students use uh, STEM to create tech-based solutions in community problems. And uh, club members also have the opportunity to participate in national and international competitions. So this is just a little bit of information on their STEM programs as well on their top, uh, their top writing, uh, their top writing programs, such as the newspaper and the magazine. Uh, but now we'll get into uh, some feedback from parents. And so this first quote says that Pinewood is a terrific uh, school for college prep. Uh, two of our children currently attend Pinewood, but we have had another child graduate from our local public school, which was a very highly ranked one they wanted to specify, uh, but the difference was immense. Uh, the small class size and high level of teacher involvement as well as gen uh, general ethic of Pinewood definitely made for a much better learning experience for their children than the local public high school. So this parent definitely felt that Pinewood was worth it uh, in comparison to their local public high school based off the two kids that did attend Pinewood. And then the second quote said, the school's biggest advantage would be the student body. Everyone is very close. And if you are new, it's quite easy to make friends and cement them. Uh, this is basically because Pinewood has a small population, but it is very easy to be a tightly knit community. And when you do make friends, you can uh, keep them for a long time. And then this last one says that the facilities at Pinewood are great, but they do think that they can be better. Uh, most of the buildings were in the uh, built in the 50s and they do show their age, uh, but Pinewood does do a good job to upkeep and modernizing where they can. So hopefully this feedback is a little bit helpful. 